Does your state have unclaimed property or money of yours it's holding on to? It could be an abandoned safe deposit box, an insurance benefit, a refund or cash settlement, an uncashed cashier's check, a money order, wages, a forgotten bank account, a dividend, or stocks and bonds. To get your money or property from the state, all you need to do is claim it. The amount of unclaimed property across the U.S. is significant. According to the National Association of Unclaimed Property Administrators, in 2019, the average claim paid was $1,780. California is holding on to around 57 million unclaimed pieces of property valued at approximately $10.2 billion, and in 2020 returned $258 million worth of unclaimed items. New York has even more unclaimed funds, holding on to $16.5 billion in lost or forgotten property. The state returned $126 million worth of property last year. In this video, I will explain why your state may be holding money or other financial assets for you, how to check if you can make a claim, and how to recover money for a deceased relative. The first question in your mind would be, why would a state be holding my money or property? Well, the reason is, governments or businesses send unclaimed property or money to a state-run unclaimed property office when they cannot locate the owner. The state office will then hold these items until their owner claims them, with most states. Finding out if you have any unclaimed property easy, and even better, free. Claiming it can be a little tricky, however, depending on which documents you need to collect, and then send to the state to prove you're the rightful owner. Let's move on to another important question. How you can check for unclaimed property and money with your state. To find out if a state is holding your financial assets that you need to claim, the National Association of Unclaimed Property Administrators lists official websites where you can search for unclaimed property by each state. You can also search across 39 states at once using the missingmoney.com. If your search results show that a state is holding some of your money or property, you can submit a claim to get it back. Each state handles claims a little differently. Some will allow you to submit your claim online, while others may require you to mail documentation to support your claim. Among the documents you may need to provide, a copy of your photo ID a copy of your social security card or tax identification number, verification of your current address, and documentation relating to the type of property, such as banking records, a cashier's check, or a stock certificate. How long does it take to get your money once you claim it? Don't expect the claim to happen quickly. The Office of the New York State Comptroller said it can take 90 days to process a claim. Florida's Department of Financial Services also said to expect 90 days for its Division of Unclaimed Property to process a claim. The Office of the California State Controller said it can take up to 180 days to return property. And last, how to claim money on behalf of a deceased relative. States also allow you to claim property of a deceased relative, and the rules around submitting a claim differ state by state. Generally, in addition to supplying documents to verify your own identity, you may need to submit a death certificate. The deceased will end documents showing your relationship to the deceased and your right to claim the property. That's all. Subscribe our channel Money Pro for more updates.